In this section, we're going to talk about Salesforce Maps Marker Layer. In this section of Salesforce Maps Marker Layer, we're going to talk about creating a folder. And we're going to focus on four areas. Number one, creating a folder for marker layers. Number two, adding folder permissions. Number three, creating a marker layer to display accounts with open opportunities. And number four, adding visible fields to the marker layer. So let's start by assuming that your company is planning its quarterly customer visits to Salesforce accounts with open, with open opportunities. This is time consuming if you have to comb through your account records, find the location of each customer, and schedule meetings in the most efficient way possible. Luckily, you have Salesforce Maps, which provides you with a geographic visualization you need to complete this task quickly and effectively. So benefits of Marker Layer Builder. Those would include, number one, visibility into data. Plotting the marker layer gives you users access to key data insights and location, which helps users and managers make efficient decisions. Number two, time savings. No more wasted time digging through objects, records, and location fields, such as address fields to view where accounts and service requested are based. And number three, flexibility. View data from standard and custom objects and filter data to reflect your needs. Marker layer folders. We're going to start by creating a subfolder for the sales team in the corporate folder. If you're not currently in the Maps app, click and select Salesforce Maps. Select the Maps tab. If a privacy policy appears, select Dismiss. The Layers tab will automatically be selected Click the Save tab, and then click the Corporate folder, and then click Select, select the folder, and for the folder name, enter, as in this case, Sales Team, and then click Done. Sales users have the standard user profile in Salesforce. To ensure they will have access to the marker layers in the Sales Team folder, Give users with a standard user profile read-only access as follows. Number one, select. Number two, select edit permissions. Number three, select. Number four, click profile. Number five, under permission for, search for and select standard user. And then number six, select read. Number seven, select save and then close. And now you have successfully created a folder in Salesforce Maps for your sales team and gave them the read-only access. Now you can create marker layers for the sales team and store them in the folder. In this section, we're gonna discuss creating a marker layer for sales teams. Now let's get started with the marker layer builder. In the previous step, we created a folder to store marker layers for our sales team. Now we're gonna create a marker layer showing all accounts with open opportunities. Markers will be displayed on the map as different colors based on industry. Visible account fields will include account name, phone number, website, and annual revenue and visible opportunity fields will include name, stage, and close date. So let's start by selecting the layer type. Before you create a marker layer, you must select a folder to store it in. You're creating a market layer for the sales team, so select the sales team subfolder you created in the previous exercise. And then number one, click the sales team folder. Number two, we're gonna click new, Number three, select the marker layer. Number four, select the account billing base object. And number five, click continue. Now it's time to create the marker layer and add the required fields. So step one, for marker layer name, enter accounts with open opportunities. 
Number two, for description, and to view all accounts with open opportunities. Number three, select filter by owner and scope. And number four, select all accounts. If creating a marker layer to view accounts owned by the logged in user, select the My Accounts radio button. When plotting this marker layer, the logged in user will only see the accounts they own. So be sure to always update the marker layer name to reflect the data that will be displayed on the map. So now let's add filters for the opportunity object. Number one, select cross object filters. Number two, select add cross object filter. Number three, leave with in the first selection box. Number four, search for and select opportunity from the object search bar. Number five, select add filter. And number six, for name, select stage. Number seven, select not equal to. And number eight, select closed one and closed lost from the list. Now let's look at customizing visible fields. You've successfully added all the required filters. Now it's time to add visible field requirements. When the marker layer is plotted, users can select pins on the map to view the following account fields. Account name, phone number, website, and annual revenue. So number one, select the tooltips tab. Number two, for tooltip one, select account name. Then for tooltip two, select account phone. For tooltip three, select website. For tooltip four, select annual revenue. Once plotted, these fields will also appear in the maps list view. Remember that users can also view the following opportunity fields, name, stage, and close date. So number one, select the related lists tab. Number two, in the add new search bar, select opportunity. Number three, in the first column name, select name, click add column, and then select stage, click add column, and then select close date, and then change the display to 10 records. Leave the other default fields so users will be able to see opportunities fields for up to 10 opportunity records ordered by created date in ascending order. Finally, users will view records as different colors on the map based in the account industry field. To do that, number one, select the markers tab. Number two, for assignment type, select dynamic field. Number three, for field, select industry. Number four, select colors next to dynamically assigned. And number five, select save and plot. And just like that, you've created a marker layer for your sales team now users with access can plot the marker layer to geographically visualize their Salesforce data and make decisions based on geography, such as creating an optimized route and schedule.